Hi, today we are going to be listening to page 15 in your letter book. I will also be reading page 16 to you in your letter book. They're both listening pages, but I'll make two separate recordings of those uh, just to, to make it simpler for you. But page 15 in your letter book, if you can go ahead and get your letter book opened nice and you will find this picture right here. Um, I'm not going to hold my sheet up while you follow along because you have such a nice, big, colorful page. So you can just listen to me read this and I'll let you know when to move picture to picture. Before we begin, I'm going to read you a short little summary about the story and then I'll let you know when we're going to start the actual story. Let's begin. The children of kings and queens are called princes and princesses. You have seen many pictures of kings and queens in this letter book and now you will meet the son of a king and queen. Today's story is about a young prince who searched far and wide for a princess to be his royal bride. So now, if you can put your finger in the upper left-hand corner, and remember when we read, we move left to right. So you're in this first box up here in the upper corner, and we'll start with picture one. This is the story of the princess and the pea. There once was a royal prince who lived in a magnificent palace. He had the most beautiful horse in the kingdom. He ate the most delicious food. He wore the most glorious clothes. He had every possible thing his heart could desire, except for one. More than anything else in the world, he wanted to marry a princess. But she had to be a real princess. He traveled around the world from kingdom to kingdom searching for, this, for his princess. He met many princesses. But there was always something wrong with each one. He could not be sure that any of them was a real princess. So sadly, he returned home, still wishing to find a real princess. So now you'll move to picture two. So you'll go to the right over here and be in this picture right there. One evening, shortly after his return, there was a frightful storm. Thunder clapped lightning flashed, and the rain poured down in torrents. In the middle of the storm, there was a knock on the palace door. Who could be calling on a night like this? asked the queen. Even dogs and cats would not go out on such a night. The king himself hurried to open the door, and who should be standing at the door but a bedraggled young woman? Bedraggled young woman. The water streamed down through her hair and over her clothes. It, it ran in at the tops of her shoes and out at the heels. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I am Princess Penelope, said the young woman. I've become lost on my way home from the fair. I got separated from my friends. Then I couldn't see the road in the dreadful storm and lost my way. Oh, please, I beg of you. Can you help me? Well, we'll soon find out if you're a real princess, thought the queen to herself. But to the princess, she said only, I will go prepare a room for you. Now we are moving to picture three. Right here, where you see all the ma these mattresses stacked on top of each other. Huh. The queen went into the bedroom where the princess would be staying. She moved, removed the blanket, the sheets, and the mattress from the bed. Then she placed a small green pea on the bottom. Next, she summoned the servants and instructed them to collect the extra mattresses in the palace and to bring them to this bedroom. When the servants returned, they had 20 mattresses. The queen instructed them to stack all the mattresses on the bed. When the bed was ready, she invited the princess to come into the room. Oh, said the princess, not knowing there was a pea at the bottom of the stack of mattresses. How thoughtful of you to prepare such a soft bed for me. I am sure that I will sleep well. The queen said good night and went off to her own bedroom. Now we're at picture four. So then you move to the next bedroom right here where you see the princess lying on the top of the bed. But the princess did not sleep well at all. She tossed and turned, and she turned and tossed, trying to fall asleep. But try as she might, she simply could not get comfortable. No matter how she lay, something was poking her. The poor princess didn't get a wink of sleep all night. Now it's time to move to picture five. And in picture five, so we're now at the bottom row. You see the princess right here. 
In the morning, the queen, the king, and the prince were anxious to find out how the princess had slept. Oh, I did not sleep at all, cried the princess. The bed, forgive me for saying so, was terribly uncomfortable. There must have been a rock in it, for some, for I seem to have been lying on something hard. My whole body aches. The poor princess's body's body was black and blue from head to foot. At once, the king, the queen, and the prince knew that she must be a real princess. Only a genuine princess would have skin so delicate that she could feel a tiny pea through all those mattresses. Now we're moving to picture six, which is the last picture. The prince at once asked her to marry him, and they had a royal wedding before the month was out. The tiny pea was put on display at the Royal Museum. So from that day forward, everyone in the kingdom would be able to view it. To this day, if you visit that kingdom, you too may see the remarkable pea nestled in a gold case. The end. Okay, so now you've listened to the story and you can go to the next video, which is going to be page 16, the next listening page that has the questions that go along with this story. See you in a minute.